Two young lives gone far too soon. The manhunt for an ex Baltimore County cop accused of abducting his own daughters is now over tonight. Multiple sources confirm he was found dead along with the little girls and his alleged accomplice. Welcome to WJZ News at 11 and all of you streaming us tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. This is a story we've been following closely, all of us hoping for a positive outcome. But tonight, communities across the state and beyond are grieving for these two little girls and their family. It has been three days since they were taken from their home in York County, Pennsylvania. Now, this right here, it was an all out search. Local, state, and federal authorities were involved, but it all came to a tragic end in Western Maryland. WJZ was first to bring you this story, and we're back on the scene with team coverage tonight. We begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren breaking down. How we got here, Mike. Vic, Rick, it all started days ago with a violent assault on the little girl's mother. Their father, who was an officer here in Baltimore County for many years, took them and went on the run. Then this afternoon, Pennsylvania State Police spotted the SUV they were all driving in, tried to pull it over, and that encounter ended with all four people in that SUV dead. That's correct. Just doing a police incident. Bring over to Smithsburg. A manhunt that lasted for days through multiple states ended in tragedy in western Maryland. Sources say Baltimore County Police Sergeant Tia Bynum was driving a carjacked SUV. Her friend Robert Vacosa, a former Baltimore County cop recently fired by the agency, was in the back seat with his two daughters, Amina and Gianna, and police were closing in. The SUV crashed into a fence in Smithsburg, and crisis negotiators soon moved in. After receiving no response and low visibility within the vehicle because of a thick layer of smoke that was contained within the interior of the vehicle, police made entry into the passenger side. They found everyone in the car had gunshot wounds, three were dead. One of the little girls was flown to a trauma center where she later died. They're devastated at this absolute tragedy. And our condolences go out to every single person that has been impacted by this. Bacosa and Bynum's rampage began over the weekend in this house in York County, Pennsylvania, where police say they held Bacosa's estranged wife at gunpoint and fled with the kids. WJZ has followed every development along the way. Police say Sergeant Bynum helped Vicosa as he tried to escape investigators. They stole cars in the York area and in Baltimore County. For days, authorities pleaded with them to let the children go. Please get these two innocent and precious children to a safe location. People are heartbroken over the deaths of Gianna and Amina, two innocent little girls. The poor girls, like, they look so young, didn't get a chance to live, you know, that's, and that's by somebody who they trust, their father. Now, Maryland State Police have answered very few questions about this case. They promise a more thorough briefing. They would not even confirm the names of the deceased. We want to turn now to Annie Rose Ramos. She's live about 80 miles from where I'm standing in Smithsburg. That's in Washington County where all this went down this afternoon. And Annie Rose, you've been talking to so many people who are grieving over what happened. What are they saying tonight? Well, Mike, as you know, we have been covering this story for multiple days from multiple places, and everybody that we spoke to all had the same reaction, even strangers. All say, we hope the girls are okay, that six- and seven-year-old Amina and Gianna Vicosa are found safe and sound. A three-day manhunt spanning two states, rattling dozens of communities. They were just all shaken up by Because as a neighbor, I don't know what's going on. The hunt started in York County, Pennsylvania on Sunday. It drew police to every corner of the area, including to Pam Purvis's neighborhood. She looked out her window, surprised to see police in every direction. They got out of their cars with guns uh, strapped to them. Days later, the chase for Robert Vercosa and his girls ended here in Smithsburg, Washington County. Something's not right. You know, there's something bad going down. Just steps down from Bonnie Ziegler's door. I just cannot believe that, that they're all gone. That these dear little girls are gone. A reaction felt by many in an exclusive interview with WJZ, even by a man allegedly held at gunpoint by Vicosa, told us he was more worried for the girls than anything else. I'm worried about the babies, beautiful little girls. So I had cartoons on for them. From neighbors to strangers, all hoping the same thing. That they're just safe, dry, and are taken care of. Now, all grieving. And your heart just goes out. You, you say a prayer for him. You just can't believe that here, right here at Christmas time and Thanksgiving that, that an incident like that went on. 
and Rick, Governor Hogan sharing in that sorrow, saying in a tweet, we are grieving tonight over the unfathomable loss of two innocent children in what is clearly a horrific tragedy and heinous crime. Live at 11, I'm Annie Ramos for WJZ.